I've actually had both, the COVID and the two vaccines, but that's just me. I'm not trying to tell anybody else what to do. Though I don't believe in the left anymore. I always had a little bit of hope for them because they have some humanitarian objectives, at least they did. But the way they are behaving today as wanting to basically turn the place into a communist or fascist state is unacceptable in the extreme to any people who wish to enjoy some personal freedom in their lives and for the lives of their children and grandchildren to come. When I first met Max a couple years ago, I realized here was a politician who was interested in facts and solution. solutions. As an ecologist, I have never before endorsed anyone as a political candidate. Today, I am enthusiastically endorsing Maxime Bernier as someone who will work to heal the country rather than tearing it apart. Let's cast our votes for the People's Party of Canada. Thank you. Makes me feel more hope for our country just listening to him, doesn't it? Absolutely. Talking about freedom in Canada. Talking about freedom in the PPC Party and Maxime Bernier. But listen. It's wonderful. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, the crowds are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But as the crowds get bigger, the media keep away. The media keep away, but not the Western Standard and not, and not the independent media, the mainstream media. And just like governments, they're trying to ignore the call of Canadians for freedom. The mainstream media is ignoring us, trying to ignore us. Our governments are trying to ignore us. Our pollsters are trying to ignore us. That we don't exist. That Canadians don't really want freedom. We just want to live under this narrative of fear and terror and danger that our governments and our media are pushing on us. But it's not true. It's not true. And we're going to see on Monday just how untrue their story is. And I'm going to say this, this vote... On Monday, some people think that it's just an election, and it's just going to be about who we elect to represent us in the House of Commons. But it's far more than that. Far more about. On Monday, we're going to decide if our children and our grandchildren have a future in this country. That's what's at stake on Monday. Monday is not just an election. Monday is a battle. A battle and a war. A war for freedom, or a war against tyranny or acceptance. And so I know there's a lot of worried conservatives out there. A lot of worried conservatives who were going on with this misinformation about the vote split. I'm going to tell you, there is no vote split. You can either vote for one of those four socialists, or you can vote and split the vote and vote for vaccine and freedom. That's the vote split.